Howdy folks, welcome back to Vintage Story. It's early morning here, the sun's just starting to come up. And we're going to go get some copper. But before we do that, let's take a look around and get you updated. I've been pretty busy here between episodes. Uh, the glass did work out. That's an oven, but uh, the glass did work out. And it turns out you can cut the glass blocks in half with a saw. So they go twice as far. So I have windows in here. And you can see in the upper left, I have a little house icon. So this, I think that means it's insulated, like it counts as a house. And I did notice when I had the fire going, that the temperature was going up. So I think that'll be good thing for winter time. Let's see, I need to grab, I need to grab some food. So that's a good excuse to show you the cellar. Also, I've chopped a little bit of firewood, just, just a little bit. I want to stay warm this winter. So, brand new cellar. Went ahead and dug one out from the rock. Uh, and it works great. You can see we got the uh, the cellar buff there. And since it, I think since it's deeper down, I'm able to use the door and still get the uh, cellar buff. So that's cool. Now let's grab this crock here. And I want to just... Let's eat up and then we'll take... Wish you could kind of refill your bowl. We still got 0.6. Oops. <laughs> we still got 0.6 uh, servings there. Pop that in there. We got quite a few veggies. We're doing pretty good on the grain and stuff. I did a little bit of hunting. Uh, that's actually how I found the copper. I was off over exploring that direction. Where it kind of been before, but I went a little further. And unfortunately, I didn't have my pick with me. Go ahead and let's put these flint spears here. We'll take a couple extra. So yeah, I had my inventory full of stuff. I didn't have my pick with me, so I didn't get a chance uh, to do anything about the copper. But I did mark it, so I'm hoping I can find it again. Uh, we got some more stuff going. We got more ingot molds, basically, because once we get going in the copper, I'm going to be wanting to make more than two ingots at a time. Got that going. I've been building some shelves just around to help store stuff. Probably saw some of those in the house. So that's good. I might, should I take the prospecting pick? I haven't used that yet. A little more organized. Maybe we'll take that too. See how that works. Uh, what else we got? We have, I've been processing some more skins. I've got one soaked hide ready to go into here. Uh, this has the uh, medium hides we put in there. And it is good for four and a half days. So we're 1.2 away, or 1.2 in to the four and a half days. So let's go ahead and head out. I'm going to take the raft over there, at least uh, halfway. And I did get some crops, crops harvested. Like we got some more rye ready to go, so we can do that when we get back. Oops. Put your paddle in your hand there, sport. <laughs> Let's get going. This is over in the forest. I'm hoping we don't run into anything. I didn't see anything bad over there last time. We'll see. I really like this mode when I'm on the raft. You can really get a good look around. Let's look out for Mr. Bear over here. Rain? Making so much noise. I'm not sure. And I did have markers over here. You can see one right above my hat over there on the hill. I don't really remember coming over here. I think it's when I was looking for medium fertility soil, maybe. And I made markers like I was doing for ore, but I didn't see the ore over here, so... Don't, I don't know why that marker has the little uh, wings on it. Yeah, it is rain. Okay. Lovely. We're going to have a nice rainy morning. What I did last time is I just came right over here and parked here. Let's 
So yeah, I've even got my block here where I can throw my ore down. There's that marker pointing back home. Like I said, I put the wings on it like I do when I find stuff, but I don't know why I put the wings on it. I didn't find anything around here. So, no idea why I did that. <laughs> uh, you can see I went off that direction. So, we'll see if I can find this copper spot. When I did set a chicken trap over by the base. I need to remember to check that today. Try to check that each day. I can see my other marker over there. There's a, uh, I think that's a rabbit I killed. And I didn't have room for the bones. I'll just go ahead and grab that while we're over here. And I had the little wings on this marker as well. Don't remember why. Maybe at the time I was just making that kind of marker. And then I changed it. Not sure. Uh, this rain is not helping, but I think... Yeah, that's the marker over there. Said for that little notch in the hills. Moderate breeze, it says. Oh, there's some more silver. Interesting. I don't know that we really need silver yet. Yeah. Thanks, dirt. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, that's quartz. Native sil oh, native silver in quartz in basalt. Oh. Ah. Okay. Um, what is silver used for? Oops. Silver. Silver bits. And then you can make stuff out of silver. Apparently. Oh, okay. This is smelting a pretty low smelting temperature. Maybe we should grab some of that while we're over here. Uh, is this going to collapse on me? Hopefully not too bad. Might be a fairly big vein. That will fall down as soon as I start hammering on this, I'm guessing. Oh, no, you need bronze tool. I didn't see the tool tip. Yeah, you need bronze to harvest that. Okay, well. Here we go. Need to try to remember that there's silver over here. I found another silver somewhere that's marked. <laughs> I, I really uh, don't have a good memory. I should be writing these things down. Oh well, that's that's part of the fun. Rediscovering. Okay, more markers. It was quite a ways back in here. So I put lots of little markers. Here's the deer I killed. Didn't have room for the bones. Low fertility soil. Also, we'll restock our packed dirt. Oh no, Control Q throws the whole stack away. There you go. 
go there. Alright. Over here past these vines. I remember the tree with the hanging vines on it. Yeah, this is forest floor. Somewhere, there it is. Like somewhere back in here. Is the copper I found. So that's where the nugget was. There's the uh, basalt rock. basalt rock there it is there's our copper don't kill me <laughs> please don't kill me uh, can I put a block there and a block there and then I can still get down in here. There we go. I think I have rock collapsing on too, but I've never digged any never never digged, never dug anything yet that's big enough to need like bracing in the rock. Don't know what the rules are for rock collapse. Something to keep in mind though if we do find a giant deposit. dig my way out of here get all the little copper bits um, I always forget to bring ladders that would have been the, the smart thing to do let's dig out a few blocks here that might be about it but what we can do now with the, uh, the prospecting pick so that would have been where the nugget was um, let me go read on that. I haven't used this before. Prospecting pick. Prospecting guide. So it has two different modes. Prospecting pick can help, prospecting pick can help you find out where not to search for them. <laughs> uh, break three rock blocks in close proximity to sample the area for ores. Minimum of three blocks apart. Okay. And then it shows you in chat. We switch to node search. Oh, you can only do density. Okay. That's probably that's a game setting, apparently. Alright. Well, let's there need to be at least three blocks apart, so let's break this rock. two more samples break this rock one more
more sample and then let's break this rock so we have decent uh emanite maybe very poor very poor minuscule amounts okay i don't know what any of those are but okay so there's something around here somewhere uh no was it emma not no ilmanite there it is crushed ilmanite but this clay so we don't care about that oh you have to have a pulverizer for that okay well that's interesting medium chunk Oh no, wait, nugget. Oh, it's titanium. Interesting. Okay. So somewhere around here there's titanium ore, basically. Uh, without the node search, you're just kind of hunting in the dark. But we got our copper. I don't think there's any more copper. It didn't say anything about copper being around. How do I bring the chat there? This T. So four traces. Oh, minuscule amounts of native copper. So there might actually be some more copper around here. That was the middle part. Maybe we'll just do just a little more digging. Zinc ore. Okay. There you go. Found some zinc ore. Some ore back over there. Sounds like that might be Andy. Remember from Minecraft, don't don't dig above your head. Okay. Well, that was a good find. What else you got in here for me? That's our way up. Let's do... too much but as we saw it doesn't hurt to take a little look around okay we looked over there it said minuscule amounts of native copper so there's probably one more like copper node here somewhere be my guess probably directly underneath look yeah I don't see anything down here I haven't dug this way so let's dig here so the other mode you can have on the prospecting pick would basically let you narrow down where it is but if you just dig around Sometimes you find it. Not quite a bit much. Quite a bit more here. All right, cool.
hopefully we'll get enough to at least make another pickaxe. <laughs> oh, this is rich. Nice. It's a rich vein. I hadn't even paid any attention to the chunks. So yeah, we'll get a decent amount of copper out of here. Good deal. So that's probably about it. It did say minuscule, so that was actually more than I expected to find. All right, that was a good haul. Let's uh, see if we can make her home now. This stuff shoved up in there. We got some sphalerite. That's the, the zinc. So that is a... I found some of that panning, I think. So we can make zinc. Um, where's the alloy? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so we can make the uh, brass or bismuth, bismuth bronze. So we can move a little, a little higher up. Oh, we still need some bismuth, though. We've got the copper and the zinc now. Uh, could make brass. How steampunky. <laughs> Uh, so that, uh, ooh, we can make a lantern, torch holder. Oh, okay. See, that'd be handy because if you put a torch in a torch holder, I, I think it doesn't go out. I think. That's what, it, that's, I think that I remember hearing that from, uh, watching some videos. It is still raining up a storm out here. I want to carry that back with us so let's go ahead and get on out of here head back to the boat I'd love to find uh, something we could turn into lime limestone uh, chalk something like that just picking up seashells to make lime water is very time consuming and I've, I think I found all the seashells around where I'm at so I'm going to have to continue to do more exploration but that was a good find that was a rich uh, copper deposit storm. Need to be careful. Our food doing here. What was that for? Did I fall a little too far? It's a near gale. Awesome. Yeah, we made it back to the boat. Saw something there, but it was just a butterfly. Alright, grab her oar and get out of here. And make it back to base uh, before dark even. So that was a good run. I'm going to head on back to base. And we'll be cooking up this copper. I might go ahead and make some brass plates. And make some torch holders. That way I don't have to waste fat on uh, lamps. Plus the torches give off a little more light. Not a ton more, but a little more. But, uh, yeah, thanks as always for hanging out, folks. The adventure continues. And it's looking better for winter. I was a little worried, but I've harvested some grain, and I don't know. We're going we're gonna to be okay, I think. We'll make a good go of it anyway. But I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care.